Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron Force. We are playing with the United States of America. Uh, so, yeah, sorry that there wasn't a uh, video yesterday. Uh, me and Jinx were recording for some of our other series, um, and I thought I was going to have time, and I just couldn't squeeze it in before the kids ended up coming home from school. It would have been a really short episode. It would have been like a 20, not even 20-minute episode, probably, if I tried to squeeze it in there. So I was like, you know, might as well just just wait, guys. And plus, I wanted to do our navies off camera, and I wouldn't have been able to do that. Uh, and I, I did do that, and uh, we'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, first, I would like to address a couple things that were brought up in the comments. Uh, first of all, somebody wanted to take a look at how many casualties uh, the Germans faced while conquering France over here. So let's go and take a look at those. It looks like they lost 100. 154,000. That's quite a bit. Italy lost 111,000. Yeah, that is a lot. Um, but you know what? To conquer France, that's really not when you think about it. Uh, over here for the Allied side of things, the Franco-British Union, 207,000. Uh, that's that's actually not bad if that's including uh, France's. Yeah, then that might not be so bad here. Um, just looking at the other countries, really not much other than the Netherlands over here. Uh, so yeah, that's that's how many casualties um, they took in that war. Uh, they very quickly uh, defeated France. Um, and remember, we have the Franco-British Union here, which is really, really cool because I've never seen this before. In all my time playing this game, I've never seen that happen. So I think that's that's pretty awesome. And what's, what's nice about it is that it's combining the French and, and British lands uh, so that Britain can make use of them, uh, all the French lands, because those French lands aren't really used very well when uh, you know the, the free France uh, holds them so yeah I think that that's that's pretty cool I like that they that this event is in the game and that it happens so rarely I like when they add stuff that isn't programmed to happen all the time that makes it uh, like a real gym when you discover it uh, the other thing that was brought up somebody wanted me to name one of the ships the USS North Carolina we actually already have a USS North Carolina um, right here one of our battleships so yeah we already have that they're gonna be going to fight the Italians I suppose uh, so yeah I did arrange the Pacific Pacific side uh, fleets as well. Uh, we've got our submarines over here, Pacific subs, and our China Sea Fleet. Um, just kind of show you the breakdown of this fleet. We got two carriers, six battleships, ten heavy cruisers, four light cruisers, and 38 destroyers. Now this is going to be combining with the fleet over there. It's currently 60 ships. There's 15 ships in uh, the Philippines right now, and they're going to be combining with them uh, for a total of 75 ships. That's going to be this this fleet here. Now the other fleet is rather small. It's 23, uh, so we're going to have to keep it over here a little bit until we get more ships built up for it. At least, I don't know, I, it's going to have to be like 50, so maybe 17 more ships before we're going to be able to send them over there. And then we'll just have the reinforcements, uh, you know, joining the Pacific Fleet over here. All right, so I think that's enough administrative stuff over here, guys. I think we can go ahead and get started. Uh, and let me just see here. Yeah, there's nothing that we can do yet as far as uh, joining Britain. Somebody was talking about sending them uh, volunteers. We can't actually do that yet. Uh, we don't have the, uh, what is it? I don't remember which one it is. Okay, it's the limited intervention. That's the one that will allow us to send volunteers. So we are going to want to get that one very soon. I think we're going to get that one next, actually. Uh, yeah, th I think that would be best. Uh, that will also allow us to, it changes our conscription laws uh, to limited conscription, which will give us a lot more manpower um, for us to make use of. Uh, but the problem right now when it comes to building units here is that we don't have any experience uh, for, you know, changing up our division designs. And our division designs right now are really, really basic. Uh, I mean, we could start start getting some of them built up here. Uh, like, I think we might get some of the armor units. I think that might not be a bad idea. I'll get a couple of them going here. So we could go military construction, but like I said, I think the, and that would be great, the uh, five military factories and all that infrastructure as well, uh, especially in areas that we're building. It means we would be able to build there a lot faster in California and Texas. Uh, but we're gonna get this because I really want to be able to send volunteers. Now, I don't know how many we're gonna be able to send because we don't really have a lot of divisions. Uh, the Japanese army, whoa, whoa. So Japan has now declared war on the ne Netherlands. The Japanese army embraces Nanshin Ron. Uh, so yeah, uh, that means that when we join the war, I I'm assuming that they are going to join the Axis pretty soon if they aren't already. Um, yeah, they're already at war with them anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, are they in the faction? Just out of curiosity? No, they are not. Okay. Uh, we, we might see them join the faction. Let's go in and get our navy over there. I meant to do that, actually, as soon as we uh, started here, but I forgot. Um, so this is also our commander over here, um, our, our, our uh, admirals. We I went ahead and point admirals for all of our uh, fleets. Um, let's go ahead. Do we want to? We'll go here for now so we can combine these fleets, but I don't know that that's exactly where we're going to be stationed. Um, where we're going to stay because it's not the the largest size, uh, uh, not the largest size base that we might want to uh, be in. So we need to get some units going over there to uh, the Philippines like 
pronto um, because we don't want them to have to, you know, go across enemy waters um, with possibly Japanese fleets trying to sink them. So I think it would be a good idea to send maybe like 10 divisions over there, like now if we have 10 divisions that are currently, man, a lot of these guys are really, really weak here. They are waiting for a lot of equipment. We probably want to get some of the, the uh, ones that actually have their equipment. Um, yeah, because we don't really want all those convoys going across if we can avoid it. Uh, it looks like uh, we might not be able to send uh, fully equipped units, unfortunately, because we just don't have them. All right, well, whatever. We're going to have to send uh, these these ones that aren't as good. Okay, what? let me see here. What's the lowest one? And we'll just pull that one out. This guy's got 43% strength. All right, it, it is going to be this 43 over here. Let's go and pull that guy out. And these are the ones that are going to be going. Uh, we'll go ahead and get them moving over there now. They'll, I guess they'll go ahead and take, uh, they'll go from Los Angeles. Sure, why not? Let them uh, visit the City of Angels before they, before they go on their journey. Uh, over to the Philippines. We don't know how long it's going to be before these, and Japan has joined their faction now. Uh, we don't know how long it's going to be before these men uh, come back home. Uh, so, yeah, get, let them get, see some sights before they go. And you see our fleets moving along now, guys. They're heading on over there. All right, so, yeah, we have 23 ships over here. Obviously, that's not going to be enough for a fleet. Uh, but like I said, this is, they're going to be, uh, they might be a bit smaller, but it's going to be more modern. That's what's important, right? Uh, yeah, they're going to have all the new ships that are currently getting built for us. Uh, we got Excavation 3. Excellent. That should mean that we're going to have more resources. We're going to go ahead and take a look at our resources uh, now. Make sure we're not trading for anything that we don't need. Uh, we're not going to get synthetic oil, so we are absolutely good over here. Yeah, I just don't, I don't think we're going to need it. The rubber would be nice. Um, you know what? We I'm not gonna say we're not gonna get it because if the Japan is very successful in the Pacific, which they I don't think they're gonna be because we're gonna try and stop that, uh, then we're not gonna be have anywhere to trade uh, for for rubber. Um, so then we might have to get those. So I'm not gonna say that we're not gonna get them at all, but I, my plan is to not get them as of right now. So it's been a couple days since I played, so I do have to kind of swing through here again and see what we need to get. We're already kind of we already have something researching down here. We got the the medium tanks going over here. Uh, artillery can't get those just yet. We are actually really close to 1940, so we could start getting 1940 stuff. We do want to research anti tanks, but we don't even have those in your units. I'm really tempted. I think we're gonna start going for the the um, uh, army land doctrines here because uh, we do not have any of those. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get the land doctrines. Uh, let's get delay. It's gonna increase the organization of our leg infantry and gonna give us a new tactic. All right, awesome. Uh, so just kind of swing it over here and just see what's happening uh, in Europe right now. Uh, looks like some naval invasions. Uh, Britain really, really, really likes to do naval invasions. They love doing them. Uh, <laughs> there seems to be like a patch, lots of naval battles going on as well. Uh, there seems to be some kind of a uh, a uh, bug or something with the naval invasions. Whoa, Italy is conquering some shit right now. Yeah, look at this, they're taking territory. All right, I just noticed that. Uh, but yeah, it seems to be like some kind of bug. A lot of people are reporting it as a bug anyway on the forums. Uh, we got the M3 Lees. Uh, because they, they are just launching invasion after invasion. It's just ridiculous. Like with a complete disregard for whether they're going to uh, succeed. And not to mention another issue that's kind of part of this that's related uh, is the fact that, yeah, let's go ahead and get these. We're gonna get the medium uh, artillery there. And I suppose we'll go ahead and get these built in as well, or at least put them in here. Uh, but you know, the biggest problem with it is the fact that the Germans seem to be completely unable to defend against it. They are really, really bad at it. Um, they just can't figure out to like, you know, defend their ports. Um, yeah, it's, it's an issue. Uh, so we got our medium tanks up here and we'll just wait till we get a factory because we're not gonna be building those just yet. Uh, yeah, that'll be good. And then 36 days here, we will get our um, self-propelled artillery, medium self-propelled artillery. Uh, let's go ahead and get these guys moving across here. Uh, we're gonna put them into, uh, yeah, the Philippines are probably good. I'm just trying to take a look at where, you know, we're all also going to really want to fight over here. However, we don't actually know, yeah, that we're going to be able to. Hmm. Yeah, let's not put troops over there just yet, uh, because if it gets conquered, yeah, that's, yeah, we're not going to do that. Yeah, it'd probably be best to just put them in the Philippines. When we get into the war, we can try and bring them over there. Because uh, I would really, I know that everybody's saying, you know, we should defend the Philippines, but I really want to defend this land here. It is far too valuable, valuable to let it fall into Japanese hands. And this has kind of always been one of my strategies here whenever I'm fighting in Asia, is I always end up defending this territory because our allies never seem to do it. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put these guys over here for now. Uh, yeah, we'll get them over there now, and then we'll, we'll just see what happens. We don't know when we're going to get into this war. That's really what it comes down to. It, we're not in 100% world tension, so we can't really um, we can't really join the faction, the allied faction right now. So, yeah, it's it's a bit unfortunate. 
um, that we have to wait so long uh, because I really want to get my fleet over there like really bad uh, I want to start helping out because I want to be able to, to get over here while the British and the French fleets are still alive Because uh, a lot of times they get destroyed by the Japanese Japanese usually do pretty well uh, naval wise over here Oh my god, and they're doing so well on the land, too Yeah, the Allies are just they're gonna have a lot of issues um, That's that's not surprising. Uh, I'm really excited for the next patch that is coming. Oh, man It looks good. Uh, just gonna fix a lot of things. It's, it's a bug patch I'm always really pleased to see the bug and balance patches coming. Uh, those are always excellent um, You know fixing all the issues that you know you might find in the game uh, And I could go over a couple of things actually that they're changing here in a second because I actually have it written down here um, because I wanted to talk about it because I'm excited. I'm excited for the patch um, And yeah, we gotta keep pulling our divisions out though because I don't want them training unnecessarily obviously um, So just taking a look here at this little paper that I, I've written this down uh, So one of the big things that they're gonna be uh, changing or, or improving is the air gameplay This is something that's extremely lacking in Hearts of Iron 4 So I'm really pleased to see that they are gonna improve that soon i've been waiting for it since the game came out uh even before that for them to to improve the air gameplay because it's it's got some problems so they haven't really told us what they're doing to improve it just that they are and that it's going to have new features which also sounds really exciting so i um, i can't wait till that developer diary unfortunately it's not even it's not gonna be next week because that's covering something else so we don't really know when we're going to actually find out uh about the uh you know changes to the air warfare uh, so that's that's one thing that's gonna be adding it's also adding national focuses for four countries i believe um romania uh hungary czechoslovakia and yugoslavia I believe that's the four countries that are getting it. Uh, they've already talked about one of them, Romania. I think next week is supposed to be Hungary. So, uh, yeah, that's that's going to be exciting. You know, more national focuses. I can't wait till they, they have it where every country in the game has national focuses. Because I'm sure that is supposed to be, that's where they're, they're going with it. Um, which will be awesome. Uh, just adds so much to the game here. Uh, yeah, I wanted to check our resources, and I never did that. We're actually going to go ahead and do that first before we deal with that. I just want to make sure that we don't, we don't have any surpluses that we're currently, like, trading for or whatever. Rubber, I mean, yeah, I'm good with having a surplus for that. Uh, we actually need chromium, a lot of chromium. Okay, so we're gonna have to trade for them. All right, well, we'll get it from the Franco-British Union. Why not? Go ahead and give that to me, please. All right, thank you. Uh, over here for our civilian factories, we wanna go ahead and get these um, assigned somewhere. I'm kind of tempted to go with more naval dockyards, like three more naval dockyards. We really wanna get this fleet built up, uh, you know, for obvious reasons. Uh, I think we'll put this, I mean, it, it's not like it actually matters uh, where we put it. Well, I guess it kind of does now, not the uh, percentages. I suppose it does uh, matter a little bit. Um, let's, we'll put it in over here in Louisiana. Okay, excellent. So that'll work there. Though, weren't we building, let me just see here. We are currently um, thinking about, okay, we can build in the Philippines because that's our puppet. Okay, uh, well, that means that we could actually build up their dockyard for them. Yeah, that's exactly what we're gonna do. That also mean, would make it, you know, easier to annex them too. If we were wanting to do that, that's not really my desire, of course. But uh, you know, it, it means that if they go into the war with us, uh, that that we will have a little bit of points to, uh, you know, hopefully stop them from, you know, uh, you know, ch leaving us, abandoning us, and gaining their independence. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, build those up. Um, we also, well, they're looking pretty good on infrastructure. Yeah, that's not bad at all. All right. Well, we probably want to get some. Uh, maybe I get a radio station over here. Uh, though we can't build radio stations. We don't have those just yet. All right, we're gonna have to wait a little bit. Uh, but yeah, well, I think we'll just get the uh, the naval bases for now. Go ahead and get those building. And I, I, I'm thinking we're gonna take that up to the top, actually. Let's, let's go and do that. I, I really wanna prioritize that. So we have our military factories. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, do something with this. We have one, one military factory because the other one went towards the Lees. Um, did we get, no, we didn't get those just yet. Okay, so this, this one factory, I suppose we're gonna put it into the Lees. Um, I'm just kind of taking a look at what all we need. Yeah, we're gonna put in the lease uh, just to get those building up a little bit quicker Even though we're not building those yet. It is nice to have a nice stockpile uh, so that we can get those out a little bit quicker uh, You know, it doesn't it doesn't really matter and that's why I'm not really in a hurry to get the the uh, The armor divisions going I want to get to the 15 uh, army experience so I can change up those divisions um, I mean because it doesn't doesn't really matter. I guess they can get their training. There is that <sighs> I suppose I'll do it guys. You've talked me into it You've talked me into it. We are going to get rid of the National Guard division um, because I don't, I'm never going to I'm never going to use it and just crowds this up. Uh, we need names for our uh, designs, guys. Uh, so we can name the infantry one. Uh, I mean, we haven't we don't really have too many cavalry yet. 
so we can name that as well though. The motorized, the light armored, and then we're gonna need one for medium armor. So I started this a couple um, a couple campaigns ago, a couple series ago, I should say, uh, where I kind of allow you guys to suggest names um, for our division design. So yeah, the best name wins. Whatever um, you know, name I think is uh, sounds the best for our, our country. We'll name them that. So yeah, you can suggest them for all of them, none of them, one of them. I don't care. Uh, whichever ones you got a good name for. So let's go ahead and change these designs up. Uh, I, the reason why I wanted to wait is because we are going to add, uh, what we're going to do with this is we're going to add one light self-propelled artillery, we're going to be adding another one, and then we're going to be adding a motorized right there. Uh, and we won't be able to do that without the 15 experience. We won't be able to get the other light self-propelled artillery. Uh, also, they don't have any support too, so that's that's kind of sucks. Um, it would be nice to be able to get at least to get the field hospitals so that as we're changing stuff up, they will retain some more of their experience. Uh, but you know what? It, it's fine. We're, we're going to do that. Uh, that's the best we can do for now. And then go ahead and train some of those guys up. Uh, we'll go ahead and get, I don't know, like maybe five of them. Sure. Whoops. I didn't mind to do like five lines. Okay. We'll get, we'll get five of these um, going. Go ahead and put that on one. And as you can see, there's, there's no equipment for them absolutely no equipment so yeah it's it's gonna it's gonna take a while um for before they actually build which is why i was saying it doesn't really matter i mean this one could get like trained up to that point i suppose uh, but you know it's not a big deal but we'll do it uh let's get this other military factory um appointed to i think we're gonna do infantry equipment we're still really really behind on that uh one of the things that was brought up in the comments is you know because i said i wanted to join this war as soon as possible and somebody's like don't do it you know you can't you can't do it you're not ready uh, to, to get involved in this war. You guys are far too weak. America is not ready. We are not ready to fight Germany toe to toe. And you know, this is what I said in the comments. There's, yeah, there's no way, uh, we could defeat Germany right now. We are extremely weak. We're America. You know, we, it takes a while for the sleeping giant to get up. It's kind of like me in the morning. I take quite a while to get my ass out of bed as well. So I understand sleeping giant. I, I relate. Uh, let's get, uh, what do we want to get next? Uh, we are in 1940. Yeah, so let's uh, get 1940 text. Uh, we can get the um, improved computing machine to get the research time reduced. Uh, let's go and grab that up. Uh, but yeah, I know that, that we're nowhere near ready to uh, jump into this war, uh, but we're not gonna be sending our troops over there. Uh, what is ready right now is our Navy and our, well, our, not because our Air Force is ready, but it could still assist. The Air Force could still assist. And ooh, a bunch of stuff just happened here. Uh, German Reich just declared war on Yugoslavia, which means they joined the Allies. And then we also had uh, Sin Kang join uh, the common term, which I'm sure I pronounced that incorrectly. But if you watch my stuff, you know I pronounce everything incorrectly. So Germany didn't have anybody to fight. So now Italy and Germany are going to invade Yugoslavia. They are going to wrap this up very quick. So we might not even have a Baltic front by the time um, or bulk in front, excuse me, uh, by the time that we uh, jump into this war, guys. Um, yeah, there might not even be anything here by that point. Uh, have Bulgaria joined? No, they haven't, but they are already leaning towards fascists. Um, over here, they're kind of, I almost want to boost party popularity over here for the Democrats. Uh, just to try and save the Balkans. Uh, yeah, look at Greece. They're looking like they're, you know what? What are we, how are we doing on political? Well, we just don't have any. Yeah, that would take all of our political power. And we'd only be able to do one country. We're going to have to wait until we get rid of the Great Depression uh, before we're really able to influence any politics. It sucks because, yeah, we might end up losing the entire Balkans um, to the fascist. Yeah, this is it's uh, this is a desperate situation, but I really like when this happens uh, when you're playing an offshore power. You know, if you're playing as France, you know, obviously the continent can't fall because that means you fell. Uh, but if you're playing as like, you know, Britain or America, it's really fun to when the continent is completely conquered because uh, then you got to kind of it's it's like the historical situation where you got to kind of find that that weak underbelly of, of Europe or, or however you're going to invade. You're going to invade Normandy or which, whatever you're going to do. Uh, you know, best is probably an invade over here. As we've seen in previous campaigns, this, this area seems to be the weak spot of AI Germany. Uh, so, yeah, I, I like that. I enjoy it. And we're going to speed this up a little bit. Um, because, yeah, there hasn't been as much happening as I was expecting. We got limited intervention. Excellent. So that should change up our manpower laws, uh, giving us 744,000 manpower. That's quite a bit. Uh, but really, right now, manpower is not the problem. The problem is equipment. Uh, I think we should get the research slot. What do you guys think? I, I think that would be a really good plan. Uh, let's go and grab up the extra research slot. Uh, I always get those as soon as I can because um, they're so goddamn useful. All right. So, yeah, we're... We could move our um, fleet over there, our uh, Europe fleet. Maybe we should. I think we should move them over there. I don't know where we'll move them. Um, can we move them into Gibraltar, maybe? Um, yeah, that would probably be a good location, I think. 
Yeah, let's let's put them into Gibraltar because that's where we're gonna be fighting. Uh, just so that as soon as we do get into the war, we can uh, get involved as soon as possible. Um, get our, our fleet uh, hopping in there, uh, and they should be getting their uh, plane staff. Though I kind of want you know what before they go over there, we're gonna change this up just a little bit. Uh, change up their design. I've already done this for the the uh, Pacific fleets. Uh, we don't really need the close air support right now. We can always change this up. It's very, very easy to change this up and add uh, the close air support a little bit later. Uh, we're also going to probably reduce the fighter count. You know what? We can leave the fighter count over here for that. I think that's fine. Uh, but this one's going to have a lot less fighters. This one's going to have like, I don't know, like probably 20 fighters. Uh, and then the rest will be over here. Oops. Whoa. Going to have too many, I think. Oh, wait a minute. No, no. We can go five more. Yeah. Okay, so we'll have we'll have 35 and 20, or maybe we should do, yeah, that looks good. I think that's fine. Yeah, this is going to be our, our naval bomber uh, one. And, yeah, now we can go ahead and get them moving over there. Uh, because, yeah, I, I really want, uh, where are they? Damn it. I shouldn't have done that. All right, so uh, I, I really want to have a lot of naval bombers um, over here. And I'm not too worried about their carriers. Uh, they, they might have some uh, shore-based uh, fighters. Oh, we're not going to be able to go over there because we don't have any rights. Damn. All right. Well, I wonder if Britain would give us rights. Let me just check here um, to go in there. Offer military access, ask for military access. Okay, they will not give us military access, so we're not doing shit. All right, whatever. Uh, oh, we can't send volunteers. I completely forgot about that. Damn, all right. Uh, so yeah, we can send volunteers. How many can we send? We can send four. <laughs> okay, um, that's, that's not helpful at all. Huh, all right, well, where... Where do we want to send them? <laughs> it doesn't. It's four divisions, but I would like to get them in there fighting. I think we should send them to. Uh, yeah, let's send them over here. And, and in fact, let's let's just pull them from here to get them get them over there. Oh, damn it! To get them over there quicker. Uh, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna pull the the ones with the most uh, equipment, which I think is at the bottom four actually. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna put these guys into their own army. They're gonna go. Uh, they're gonna go fight. Uh, let's just take a look at what we have here. Uh, we don't want a field marshal. Um, uh, Patton, on, yeah, that'd be great. I don't have any panzers for him to lead, though. Engineer would be uh, useful. Bradley, Bradley's awesome. Uh, but I really am tempted just to get the Eisenhower in here just because of the logistics. I don't know if we have any other supply guys, but we're going to Asia, and I really want a supply guy, somebody who's good with supply in Asia. We're starting to get the lower skill ratings here, though, uh, and I'm not seeing it. No, I'm not seeing it at all. All right, you know what? I think we are going to send, um, well, yeah, I think we are going to send uh, <laughs> Eisenhower just for his supply benefit. Uh, yeah, let's let's go and do that, guys. Uh, we're going to get we're gonna get Eisenhower over there. I know he's a field marshal. I'm putting him in command of four. Uh, four. <laughs> Ike would not be pleased <laughs> that we're giving him four, uh, guys. But you know what? He's getting in the fight before everybody else, so he should be happy, in fact. Yeah, let's get Eisenhower in there because Ike loves to fight. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and, and offer these as uh, volunteers. Uh, we're going to go ahead and change up the color, though. Uh, we're going to make, um, uh, what color do we want to make our Asian army? You know, we're going to do orange. Let's do some orange over here. Uh, and we're going to give them, they need more icons. That's what I would like to see. I know that's not like a priority or anything, but I would like to see more icons. Oh, we could do this one. Why not? I never do that one. All right, so we're going to do this this color. We can do it like a little bit lighter or something like that. Yeah, okay, that'll work. Okay, so the orange army, that's the one that we're going to be offering. I could suppose I can click on them from here. That would be much easier. Uh, so let's go ahead and send them some volunteers with Dwight D. Eisenhower. Yes, sir. This will generate a little bit of threat too, which is excellent because we're at 96%. So, huh. I wonder if it's even worth it. That'll put it at, yeah, that'll put it at 96. Uh, and we'll be able to join the war really soon. You know what? We'll do this because we don't know how long it's going to take to get to 100. I suspect it'll be very, very soon though. But let's go ahead and send them anyway. Um, and yeah, they should offer that. Or they should accept that, excuse me. Uh, and then I think we're going to send some more divisions over here as well. Uh, so, you know what? I don't think I got to choose where where they're going, did I? No, I didn't. They're just going to arrive in Britain, probably. Yep, wherever they want, wherever they arrive to. All right, I didn't think about that. I completely forgot about the fact that we don't get to pick where they go. All right, well, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, let's go ahead and get some more divisions going over there to Asia. Uh, before we pause this here, let's get the best, best guys here. Um, let's get, I think, like six divisions going over there. Uh, I think that would be wise. You know what? It'd probably be wise to just get a crap ton of divisions, uh, actually, come to think about it. Because uh, we know that's, that's where we're putting them anyway. Um, so might as well, right? Let's go and get like 10 more. Um, do we have anybody else? available no all right well this will work then uh let's go ahead and put them uh in la 
Hope you guys enjoy um, LA. It's uh, it actually, I mean, some people don't like LA. I, I like it there. I used to live in, in Los Angeles for a little while. Uh, most of my time in California was spent in other areas, um, like the Riverside area and stuff. Uh, but I did enjoy my time in Los Angeles too. I mean, uh, well, uh, I don't know. There's also a lot of problems with Los Angeles. Uh, Los Angeles has some serious like gang issues. Um, there's there's some issues there. Uh, I remember uh, going to to school there. <laughs> it was it was a, a rough area to go to school, and it seems that we did not get these yet. So let's let's go ahead and get them. Um, and let me put them back down to the bottom because I think I always do that, and that's what messes that up. Uh, let's go with right above the light self-propelled artillery. All right, so we'll get these guys ticked up to the top here. All right, excellent. Uh, just get those building up, because um, yeah, we're gonna be putting them in our division design soon. So these guys are gonna be arriving in the 28th of January here, and it feels like my frames per second are really, really dropping. I hope that's not affecting the recording too much, because uh, yeah, they are. it is really ticking down, and I've been having some serious issues. I found out some of you guys are familiar with, um, Yugoslavia has already capitulated. Wow, that was quick. So some of you guys are uh, aware that I have had some issues, um, performance issues with my recordings and stuff, and it seems like uh, Britain is launching a lot of uh, invasions over here. Or perhaps these aren't invasions, perhaps these are, are British troops. No, because then it would be in British hands. Yeah, so these must be uh, invasions that Britain's currently launching. Uh, but yeah, you guys might be aware that I, I have had problems, performance issues with the recordings. Uh, and I found out what it is, by the way. Um, some people were trying to help me kind of discover what the problem was, thinking it was the recording software I used, while I was insisting that it was not the recording software. Uh, where did they land? Um, that's not where I wanted them. <laughs> that's not where I wanted them at all. I do not want to fight in Africa. No. Uh-uh. Nope. I'm not fighting in Africa. No, thank you. Uh, that sucks. <sighs> By the time they get over there, the war's already going to start. Ah. Uh, whatever, man. I guess they got to stay in Africa. There's really no point. By the time we put them in Europe... Uh, they and I think the way this works volunteers. I never actually knew for sure I believe it's like the closest port to you like distance wise to your port to one of your ports Which would make sense here because we have a port um, Over here somewhere. Uh, so yeah, that's that's probably how it works I'm not I've never been entirely sure though if that's how they do the volunteers uh, But I, I believe that's that's the way it works um, let's let's go ahead and put them on this front because remember when they when we jump into the war the volunteers get sent back uh, so there's really no point on doing anything. It just sucks because this is not not what I wanted. Um, let's just put them. We're, we're gonna move them over here for right now. Just try and push Italy back, I suppose, uh, up in this northern area. I'll just get them like so. You know, four provinces. Uh, go over there, guys, and uh, help out the best that you can. Um, and then yeah, we have some military factories over here. Um, or one military factory, excuse me. Um, let's put it into. I'm really thinking. Well, look at all those light tanks we need. We need a lot. A lot of light tanks. Uh, let's go with motorized. Yeah, I think that'd be wise. Uh, we do need to get more fighters. As you can see, that we don't actually have enough carrier fighters as of right now. All right, well, uh, it's fine. We're not in the war just yet, but we will be soon. Yeah, 99%, look at that. Yeah, very, very soon we're gonna be hopping into this war. Um, oh, but I, I, I get sidetracked. Here, here I am again, getting sidetracked. Uh, what I was saying though, guys, is that the performance issues, I found out what they are. It's, it's a problem with Windows 10. Um, it's causing performance spikes for many people. Um, and there's been some fixes. I've, I've implemented some and it seems like it's not working that well. Uh, I'm gonna try some of the other ones, but yeah, Windows 10, it's fucking my shit up, man. Uh, it's, it's just, there's these, I don't, I don't remember what it's called because I didn't write it down or whatever. Uh, but there's this, this thing that keeps on spiking the performance up to like, where it takes like 99% of your memory and 99% of your disk. And a lot of people are having problems right with it right now. And I'm sitting here watching it, uh, you know, the task manager as my performance spikes. It's ridiculous. Uh, that's Windows 10 for you. I hate Windows 10. Windows 10 sucks. Uh, we're going to get engineer companies, guys. Yeah, the window 10 is it's just terrible. I would have never have changed over to it if I had had a choice. Uh, I didn't have a choice. I had no choice. I was not given the option because, uh, well, I guess technically I had an option if I wanted to pay more money. Um, that's the only way I could have. Uh, when I bought my new computer, um, I got it custom made uh, for me. And yes, I know you can make your own computer. I'm, I'm not going to make my own computer, guys. I've had like a million people tell me, oh, it's so easy. Anybody can do it. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> uh, I didn't want to take the time, though. I just didn't want to do it, guys. Uh, did we get these guys over here? Yes, we did. Let's go ahead and send them. Oh, some of these are reserves. Ugh. Oh. 
We don't want to send those reserve guys. Uh, we want to send these ones. Uh, I thought we had a bit more uh, regular army. Well, whatever. We'll go ahead and send these ones. Um, and we also have our fleets over here, so might as well uh, do something about that. Um, let's just... Well, we don't want to merge all them. Uh, let's merge our submarines. Here we go. Uh, so we have 50 submarines over here, which is excellent. Uh, these are our Pacific subs. And then over here, we're going to merge these two fleets as well. All right, nice. So as you guys can see, we have 75 uh, ships over here, uh, which is a pretty good number, I think. Uh, should be able to take any Japanese fleet that we end up coming across. Uh, but if we have to fight two Japanese fleets, um, then we won't win. Uh, I've been thinking about that uh, because... You know, we do have, do we, we have an air base here uh, that we could make use of to, you know, assist our, our bombers. You know, we're going to go ahead and do that now, in fact. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. Uh, we're going to put some naval bombers over here, like uh, 200 uh, naval bombers. Uh, we don't have twos yet, do we? No. Uh, yeah, we're going to put 200 naval bombers over here. Uh, and we should probably get some more into the Atlantic as well, since we'll be joining them. Though, it did, has ticked down. World tension has ticked down uh, since then. Uh, but yeah, I had a, a custom computer uh, built for me, and yeah, the uh, it, they they were gonna charge me more money if I uh, wanted to have uh, uh, Windows 8. It was that's it was cost more money. I don't I don't know why. I can tell you why. That's the stupidest shit ever. Um, but yeah, they did require more money. I guess it's good that we moved these guys to this port because we can put them in those two ports that I wanted uh, to move units to. Uh, I wanted to move one to Hawaii as well. Uh, we're gonna get them going over there. All right, excellent. Uh, so, yeah, to come, if you're wondering why, I think I said this before, we're trying to cover that air base there. All right, guys, well, that is actually the end of the episode here, and my wife just got home as well. Um, but, yeah, we're going to go ahead and end this here, and we should, I really thought we are going to get into the war in this episode, but we're, like, almost there, guys. We're, like, 2% away on the world tension before we can join uh, the... Allied faction. Let me just check here, make sure that's still the case. Yes, we still cannot join them just yet. But yeah, next next episode, we're gonna be joining the war, guys, or at least uh, the naval and air part of the war. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, consider subscribing to the channel, and thanks for watching, guys.